conscious and unconscious? What is in your awareness is conscious. What is not in your awareness is unconscious. How to be aware every moment in that? We will come. Right now, you're awake. So, you are aware of the light, the air and this and that around you and the people around you. Suppose you fall asleep. Suddenly you become unaware of all these things, isn't it? Hmm? Right now, you are aware who is sitting next to you for some moment. Now I am talking to you, you become unaware who is sitting next to you, isn't it? So, what you are aware of, what you are unaware of is varying the sphere and the area of your awareness is varying at different times, isn't it? You are not always aware to the same extent, whether it's about the outside or the inside, you are not always aware to the same extent. When we talk awareness, we are not talking about becoming more and more aware, aware about the outside. That is only for survival. To the extent it is necessary for survival, we must be aware of the outside. See, if you take the animals, for example your dog, first of all why dog entered your life? Today maybe for other purposes, but initially why dog entered your life is he is much more aware than you about the outside, isn't it? If you fall asleep, he still keeps hearing and smelling and tasting and everything around him. That's why you keep the dog at home, isn't it? Today maybe for companionship because people have abandoned you. <laughs> But otherwise, fundamentally, dog came into our lives because he is more aware of the outside than you are, isn't it? He can see things and smell things and hear things that you cannot. That's the reason why he has come into your life. But we are not talking about that kind of awareness. When we say awareness, we are talking about you being aware of yourself. So how much of you is in your awareness right now? If you look at it, you will see very small aspects of you are in your awareness. So, we have to deepen this process. If awareness has to grow, in one way if you look at it, what you call as myself is a certain level of awareness, isn't it? Yes? If your awareness disappears, you also disappear, isn't it so? Right now you are alive, how do you know? Simply because you are aware, yes? So in, in one way, what you call as myself is a certain level of awareness. But that awareness is happening in a minimal way. We want, it to, we want to extend this to every aspect of who I am, so that who I am becomes a completely conscious process. How to do it? Awareness has become a small thing simply because it's lost in these two heaps the heap of food that you gather as body and the heap of impressions that you gather as mind, especially the heap of impressions. Now if you separate it a little bit, suddenly awareness is in full flow. Because it's lost in this, it is like there is a light bulb. Now if you cover it with a lot of cloth, still the light is burning, but light doesn't see, doesn't help to see, isn't it? Now one thing is to crank up the voltage so that light becomes more intense, but the important thing is to remove the cloth that is covering it, isn't it? So we will do both. One thing is to clear it up, another thing is to crank up the voltage. If these two things are done together, properly, sensibly, then you will see, you will see more of yourself than ever before.